the social media advertising. We're going to do the story upload tutorial. We're here in class. We're going to go step by step on how we're going to do our video assignment three. So I'm going to go ahead and switch over to the screen share. And then I will lecture as if you were here in class. Choose desktop. That's what you want to see. Okay. So I'm going to get rid of that. Okay, so we're going to go through um, this tutorial. The things that you need are really a MacBook or iPad. If you don't have those, um, I can teach you how to do that on a PC, uh, but not for this class. Uh, you're going to need PowerPoint installed. Um, there are certain different versions of that that you can find on your iPad. You can also use Keynote. For these purposes, I know that everyone has PowerPoint. Um, GarageBand, we're going to use GarageBand to record our audio for our narration of our story and iMovie to put it all together, and a Vimeo to share it with everyone. So everything that you should already have is your story outline. You've been working on your story for about a week now. Um, if you have the outline, great. If you have the actual story written out, even better. It'll be helpful to, to narrate it that way. Um, you're going to need your PowerPoint slides as pictures, so you're supposed to have that done by today. If not, I'll show you how to do that once again. And so we can kind of, it's even possible to get it uploaded right now. It's possible. If you're, if you're prepared, we can even do it right now. If not, um, it should be easy to do it tonight, tomorrow, and have it uploaded by Friday. And of course, you need um, your attitude. Uh, okay, so let's go. We're going to need PowerPoint. I think I already have it open here. So that's where we're going to start. Let's just choose a, a fun theme that's already there. Uh, this looks cool. Yeah, let's do that. Right here on the on the slide size, you're probably going to want to choose widescreen 16.9. That's important. It's going to change the, the size of your slide and make it look a lot, a lot better and for video purposes. It's not going to be so square. Uh, and it'll look nice on your TV, too, when you want to look at it later. So I went ahead and chose that. No problem. Uh, these kind of look like trees. So let's talk about my tree adventure. Uh, by Mr. Salcedo. Okay, so I have my opening slide. Let's do a new slide. Okay, let's let's add a photo here of a tree. So go to picture, clip art, browser. Clip art browser. I'm gonna find a lot of fun stuff there. Get out. Uh, here, I don't know, animals, business, food, dining, people, photos, I eh, just add some animals. Why not add a bunny? All right, so it's huge. Uh, we're going to want to make them smaller. I think that allows them to fit inside the window. There we go. Here, and his name is nothing. He doesn't have to have, to have the name. That's fine. I'm just going to get rid of that. Okay. You slide. Now I want to search for a tree, right? So let's see if we can find a tree. Mm. I don't know. I uh, could. I'm trying to find a, a different way to search for it. Uh, so to go picture, clip art gallery. There, now you can search for it. So a tree. Search. Aha. So there's this winter tree and this mystery. Let's say, geez, mist. I like that. Okay, let me zoom out of here. There we go. So we have a tree. Um, new slide. So we have our beginning, my tree adventure. I don't know. We met. We met Mr. Bunny. I met him in the forest. Um, we became friends. So let's, let's go back here. And you want this guy, control C, go back to this slide, control, actually this slide, you want to duplicate it. There. Uh, so we have two of those slides. And on this slide here, we're going to control V. Now we have our little bunny on the side of our tree. And we're going to want to add another picture of a person, probably. Clip art, gallery, clip art, yeah, browser, people, or whatever. Oops. 
Uh, let's make them a little bit bigger. Here, that looks like me. So let's put them in here. Okay. And we're going to do something like, I don't like this slide, so we're just going to make it mm, like that. No, I don't like it. Delete. Oops, I don't like that one either. Uh, there we go. Okay. I don't know, something like that. Okay, that works. So we're done creating our story, right? So let's uh, let's see what it looks like. So it'd be something like uh, my tree adventure. By Mr. Salcedo. Uh, I met a rabbit. His name was Mr. Rabbit. I found him in the forest. He and I became friends. The end. That was my tree adventure by Mr. Salcedo. So that's our story. So once we're done with creating our PowerPoint presentation, you're going to go up to File, Save as Pictures. Once you're done saving as pictures, let me see, let's zoom in here a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to name it MTA for My Tree Adventure um, Pictures. I'm going to save that just to my desktop so that way I know where to find them easily. I'm going to save them as JPEGs. There's a bunch of different options. You want to save them as JPEGs because they're the easiest to work with. JPEG, everything else looks fine. Save. Zoom out. Each slide of your presentation, you should be prompted with this, has been saved as a separate file in the folder. Uh, users, more so. Solo desktop, MTA pictures. Perfect. Okay. So PowerPoint, thank you very much for all your help. Uh, we want to go and just save the PowerPoint just in case. So I'm going to call it MTA. Um, just MTA. Save it to my desktop. Save. All our work is saved. PowerPoint, quit PowerPoint. Dunzo. Okay, uh, so now we're going to go to GarageBand. Uh, here we go. It's the guitar. Uh, I think that's free software included in all of your, your iMacs. Um, so when I was playing around, I, I created my T story, so how I invented, how, how I made T, but this one we're going to use a new one. So a new project, just go ahead and click on voice. Uh, there. So I clicked on voice. You go down, choose. Uh, and then we want to name it MTA um, Audio. That looks good. Oops. Uh, we want to save that uh, to our desktop, too. That's probably just the best place for it. Save it to the desktop. Uh, it says Tempo Signature. You don't have to worry about this. This is pretty standard. Just go ahead and click Create. And you're done. GarageBand is going to go ahead and open. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Here we are. I'm just going to make that full screen. Now it's important. Uh, here. So here are the tracks that are enabled. Um, it's important to see these green things going up like that. That means uh, you have, it's kind of hard to see here on the projector, but you have audio coming in. So right now it's being recorded from the microphone from the laptop, and that's great. If these red dots ever turn on, that means you're speaking too loud. So I, I was basically yelling into the microphone. I'm sorry. Uh, we go out of here. Let's get a little bit closer here. So everything looks great. It looks like we're getting audio. I'm going to go ahead and move down here. Now it's important. So I'm just going to put mono, built-in microphone on mono. Uh, monitor off. It's going to give you feedback if you're recording while it's on. And then over here, it says male basic, but male basic is an effect. I don't want any effects. I want only my voice and the way it sounds, how I speak normally. And we don't have to necessarily save it, uh, so we're good there. Okay, so when we're all ready to record, we're going to go to here, click the big red button, and as you can see here, we're already recording, and that's fine. There, so up here is where we see what we're recording. Now I'm just going to start talking here about here. This is My Tree Adventure by Maury Salcedo. There was once a little bunny named Mr. Bunny, and I found him in this very misty forest. 
he and I met and we became friends. The end. There. So you press the space bar and that ends the recording. Um, now there was a lot that I didn't want in the recording, right? Everything that I've seen before. Uh, so I'm just going to go back. I'm going to listen to it. And as you can see here, we're already recording. And that's fine. There. So up here is where we see what we're recording. Now I'm just going to start talking here about here. Right there. So I'm going to pause it and I press pause with the space key. Um, I move over here. I'm going to click click the end if it allows me. Okay, that's fine. So I'm going to cut it, edit, cut, right? And it's going to cut exactly where the red marker is. Uh, except I want the red marker to be just a little bit right before I start talking. So about right there. Edit, cut. Oops, wrong one. Control Z. Uh, split is what I'm looking for. Undo is Command Z. Split. Now I have what I want and what I don't want. The dark purple one is the one I don't want. So I just go ahead and click delete. Now I want this one. I'm going to move it all the way to the end. Boom. Done. So I'm going to zoom out here. Uh, I'm just going to verify that that's what I want. This is My Tree Adventure by Maurice Sanso. There was once a little bunny named Mr. Bunny, and I found him in this very misty forest. Yes, yes, yes. He and I met, and we became friends. The end. Now, I want to end it right before that little click. So down here, I should be able to edit that. Um, I'm going to split it again. So there, the shortcut is to click Command-T. That'll split it. This little thing I don't want, delete, gone. Okay, so now we have our audio. We know we checked it. We know it sounds good. I'm going to go up here and say share. I'm sorry. Go, zoom up here. Share. Let me zoom out a little bit. Export song to disk. And then we're going to be prompted with um, this here. Uh, it says compress using MP3 or AAC. Um, because we're using iMovie, either or will work. MP3 is just going to make your file smaller. So we probably want to use that one. And it says good, high, higher. Um, let's just use good for now. Uh, we don't want too big of a file, and it's going to sound like it says good. And good is good enough for, for these purposes. It says your best suited for voice produces small files, which download fast. 64 kilobytes. Actually, that might be too small. Let's go high quality. High quality is where you want to go. So high quality. Go ahead and click Export, and it's going to ask us, where do we want our file? I want MT Audio to be on my desktop, and so it's already kind of chosen there for me. Save. It's creating our mix down, and it's done. Thank you very much, GarageBand. We no longer need your services. Quit. Do you want to save MT Audio.band? Yeah, I'll save it. Why not? Do you want me to project? Yes. Okay. Uh, now we go ahead and want to open iMovie. And this is where the, the fun really begins. Okay, I know it's kind of dark and hard to see, but okay. So these are all of my older projects, but I'm just going to go ahead and go up to the top after it opened and click Create Movie. There should be another option that pops up here. Here we go. I'm going to click No. There's a bunch of different themes you can choose. Um, for our purposes, since we already have a story, our slides, and our sound, we're just going to click No Theme. We don't want anything too crazy. Oops, No Theme, and then down here at the bottom, Create. Okay, I'm going to zoom out. It's going to ask us what we want to save, and we're going to go My Tree Adventure. And it's going to have uh, it's going to go to a library. This doesn't matter, uh, but okay, because the, we don't really need the project file. We just need it saved. Okay, so now we got to import all of our files. So we go to the top, import. A little box, a little dialog box comes up. Here we go to my desktop, because that's where I saved everything, right? Here we have our MTA audio, our MP3 that we want. And we have all of our pictures from our, our PowerPoint. So I'm just going to go ahead and click Command, click. It'll allow me to select both at the same time. Let's get out of there. 
and the option import selected. Okay, zoom out. Okay, so everything now is inside of this window. I know it's tough to see. It'll be easier to see when you see this video at home. Uh, but let's go ahead and get all of our pictures. So we have my tree adventure, and I'm going to go ahead and, with the command key, click all the other pictures. So that way I can go ahead and get all of them in. I'm going to see it turns into a little hand. Click and grab. You're going to bring it down to the timeline. It'll automatically snap in place. So let me zoom out. So now if you click the space bar, it's going to play. So up here in the corner, you kind of have, you see everything, right? So that's our video that we made. There's the tree that we wanted, and then that's when we became friends. And then we have, of course, the end. Okay. So that's all nice, but it's kind of slow, kind of boring, right? So now we want to import our audio. Um, I think this is going to be the one. There was once a little bunny named Mr. Bunny. There we go. So that's the one we want. So I'm just going to go ahead and click the whole thing. I'm going to zoom in so you can see here. Drag it to the bottom. And you want this little green point to start right at the beginning. Because that's where we recorded and that's kind of how we planned for it. Okay, so now let's match the pictures to the sound. Uh, so here, oops. This is My Tree Adventure by Maury Sasso. Okay, so I know that that's done. So I'm going to get this slide here, bring it, bring it in, about there. Okay. Let me go here. This is My Tree Adventure by Maury Sasso. There was once a little bunny named Mr. Bunny. Okay. Kind of almost there. In this very misty forest. He and I found him in this very misty forest. Yeah. He and I met and we... So I'm going to make this one a little bit smaller. Okay. He and I met and we became friends. The... That's it. So it's a really short video. And so you just um, click and drag the photos until they match the music. Here, you can kind of see when it's quiet, that's probably when you want to change the next you slide. Have to match the bottom one? You want to match... Yeah. The bottom... Well, the bottom one... The audio is going to stay the same. You want to match the top here, these parts to, to for the bottom so that way the story makes sense. Speak, or can it just be text? Uh, if you want to do text, that's fine. Uh, you can do text on the slides, but then I would expect you to have some music that, that complements it kind of nicely. Um, and then that's it. I think we're done here. Let's look at the video one time. I met and we be. Let's get this from the beginning. This is what it's going to look like. I don't like how it zoomed in here, but it's okay. Uh, this is My Tree Adventure by Maury Sasso. There was once a little bunny named Mr. Bunny, and I found him in this very misty forest. He and I met, and we became friends. The end. Okay, so I like it. I'm happy with this. So we're done. Um, now, at this point, we're going to go up to, uh, I think it looks great, Share. Now, it has an option here to upload to Vimeo directly. Um, it may uh, not work. Um, so the long way is we're going to save it as a file. So we're going to click File. Uh, I want to save this movie. Okay, it's only going to let me do it as standard definition. MTA audio. Oops, cancel. Uh, I want the whole thing. Share, file. Oops. It's only let me make a... Here we go. I want this whole thing. File, share, file. There we go. So I want it to be at least 720p HD. So that way it looks nice and crisp. Because you spent time working on your slides, they should look nice. So you want HD 720p, and it's going to look nice on your TV when you play it back. Uh, click Next. 
my tree adventure is what I want to save it as. I'm going to save that to my desktop uh, or my tree adventure story. So that way we can name it something else. My tree adventure story, save. Uh, it should take just a few seconds. And so this tells me my progress. Oops, I guess it's already done. So it's done. So that's our that's our video. So now we are done with iMovie. iMovie, thank you very much for your services. We no longer need you. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and go to Vimeo. All right, Vimeo. So I already happen to be logged in. Um, so at the top here, Vimeo is upload. Let me zoom in a little bit more. So what's going to happen then is we have these rule here, only upload videos you created yourself. Well, check mark. We created the PowerPoint ourselves, the audio, everything's ours. Certain types of content are not allowed on Vimeo. If you read that, it's just uh, it's going to say um, no dirty videos, stuff like that. So we check that. It's about a bunny and a guy. Not dirty at all. Uh, commercial and business videos can only be uploaded at Vimeo Pro. This isn't for commercial purposes. It's just a story. So check, check, check. Choose video to upload. And on my desktop, I have my tree adventure story. Choose. Twelve point six megabytes. That's not a big file at all. Um, so it should upload pretty quickly, and the internet here is very fast. Go ahead and upload. So what's going to happen is the video is going to upload, but it's going to take about an hour to process because we have the free service. So during that time, see how fast it's uploading? Wow. Um, we have My Tree Adventure Story as the title, description. Um, my class, uh, my video assignment three. Three. Um, you can. Add, that's pretty much all you have to add in there if you want to add more, like uh, a story of how. A man became friends with a bunny in the forest. Uh, tags. You don't have to add any tags if you don't want to. Here I'll put um, story. Put here, yeah, just story. OK. And that's pretty much all you have to add. It says done, go to video, hold on. Privacy, uh, it's up to you. Uh, I'm going to choose to make my video public. Um, that's fine. But you can also do all these options here. Um, if you want, for, for purposes, email me the link. If you want to do only people with a password, create the password. Uh, email me the link and email me the password, and only I will see it. You don't have to worry about the world seeing your story. If, if you want the world to see your story, just make it public, and that's fine. Uh, I would recommend just either public or with the password. Um, where can this video be embedded? Uh, I would say nowhere. Click nowhere. Who can comment on this video? No one. Uh, if, and unless you want it public and you want people to say, anyone, but I would say for the purposes of the class, no one. Um, what can people do this video? Download the video. I'm going to check that off. I'm not going to let people do it. Add to their collections. Off. Um, save changes. Anyone can see the video. Actually, uh, for me, for my purposes, I'm going to click anywhere, anyone, because I want it to be public, right? They can, whatever, save. But for your purposes, everything else. Uh, okay, that's done. Add to uh, channels, groups, albums, advanced, content rating, all audiences. Uh, Creative common license, that means anyone can use it, and that's fine. Upgrade, you don't have to upgrade. That's fine. So we are all done. Now let's go to our videos. My profile. So it's processing. Um, and I think it's going to stay like that for, for about an hour before it lets you. So if you plan on uploading this at 11 o'clock on Friday, it's not going to work out. So make sure you do it either early Friday morning or Thursday night. Uh, let's see. 
Let's see if I can watch it online. There you go. So I have to wait 42 minutes. And that's just a part of uh, the free processing um, because we're doing it for free. And then it gives me all these really cool analytics. So uh, when you all see it, I know who saw, uh, not who saw it, but uh, how many times people saw it, how many played it, if they liked it, if they said anything about it. Um, so it's really cool statistics, and they only get better uh, when you upgrade. For our purposes, we don't have to. And then once it's done, uh, you should be able to link it to me. Uh, so click the video at the very top. You're just going to copy-paste the URL, put it into, email it to me. Oh, I'm sorry, put that onto SU Learning. Uh, and if it is a private video, um, submit to me the password via email. And all done. Okay. That, uh, that should be it. I'm going to go ahead and switch back here. Uh, screen share is off. Okay. So that was a tutorial step-by-step -step on how to make a story or a quick story uh, from PowerPoint to GarageBand to iMovie. I hope you learned something. Um, there are other methods. This happens to be one of the quickest methods to, to do if you have a MacBook and all that software. Uh, thank you, and we will see you in class next time. And we are no longer live as of this point.